taken away. Fury hammered on the play by Boucher. Austin May out of the scrum took the hit from Boucher. As we speak to you on a Sunday from USA Hockey. Today isn't going to really oh, do much of a big hit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Let's Watch. This time we look at Tyler Boucher, the most physical player in the draft. So let's get something out of the way first. Was sent overall a bit early to select Boucher? Probably, but it doesn't make him a bad prospect. In fact, because of his unique skill set, he was a worthy first rounder in this draft, especially if you're looking to build a certain type of team, one that's hard to play against. We didn't get a lot of games to evaluate Boucher this season. He only played a dozen with the US under 18 program, but those were enough for us to get a good picture of his game. We project all of his skills as NHL average in a few years, if his development goes according to plan, except for his physical game, which received the highest grade in our draft guide. We didn't rate it as high just because of the big hits, but also because of Boucher's ability to resist back pressure and establish body positioning on opponents to seal the puck. So like we did in other videos, we're gonna watch one game of Tara Boucher, who wears number 13 with the US program. So this is the first face-off of the game. Boucher is on the left wing. He gets tripped, but still manages to keep that puck <laughs> in the offensive zone. He really doesn't want to give that up. And now this turns into a back check. And it looks like the US team uses a middle back check. So Boucher is on is the F1 right here. He back checks through the middle and then on entry pressures the puck carrier. Now this is another offensive zone face off. He's again on the left wing. And it turns into yet another back check. So this defenseman picks up this puck on the wall. The US probably uses a slash breakout. So Boucher's role is to slash across the ice and provide a passing option to his winger on the wall, which he does. He just mishandles that puck, but still finds his teammate accelerating through the middle. Let's rewatch this. Nice positioning, mishandles, but this really shows awareness under pressure and some handling abilities because he catches that puck back and finds his teammate right behind him for what should have been a great shot on net. And now he's right in front of the net <laughs> where he, he, he usually goes in offensive zone sequences. Another breakout that's probably going to turn into a regroup. So every forward just runs their, their routes right here. Boucher is across the ice. He catches a puck. Nice timing on the help. So let's rewatch this. So he sees his teammate in trouble. So he slashes across the ice again and catches that puck to win the offensive zone. He trips right here, but still manages to keep the puck in possession of his team. And you can see his puck protection ability. So let's rewind this one more time. The puck gets along the wall. And the first thing he does is scan for pressure. So he knows where the defenseman on his back is. As soon as he sees that defenseman extend his stick, or as soon as he sees him coming toward his inside shoulder, he turns the other way. He's not very explosive right now, but he has very high level balance. He can resist shoves, resist contact. And it's the same thing in front of the net. He's hard to move. And again. So you saw some of his physical skills and, and this shift, but also his supporting ability. So the way he gave passing options to teammates and also if it's his problem solving abilities. Um, when he lost that puck in the neutral zone, he still managed to find his teammate accelerating behind him. So this is another offensive zone faceoff. It's four on four, I think. Yeah, four on four for five seconds. So what Boucher is going to do is just buy time to let his team install a real power play. And now it's probably going to go net front or the middle of the defensive box. Yeah, you can see his position right here. He's playing between checks, so he knows his space and he found a hole in between all of those defenders. His stick is open or almost right now, so that's a good position from Boucher. Or at least it was when, when his teammate received the puck. So if you want a, a hit, 
if you, if you want to hit a, a bumper player, you really have to do it fast because the box is going to collapse on him. But when that happens, it also frees space around the ice for our teammates. And now they can circle the puck and he scores. So <laughs> he really he just put that puck in, but he also contributed to the uh, power play movement by being in a good position. He freed space for his teammates who managed to pass the puck around and then get it on net for Boucher to score. Boucher is on the right wing here. He's pressuring this puck carrier. And now he's across the ice. So if his team manages to break out, which they, which they don't, he's just going to slash across to provide another passing option. And now it's just F1, so he's going to push back the defense. Yeah, so <laughs> let's rewatch this. Sometimes when you, you're rushing away from the puck, uh, your role is just as important because you, you're you the, the forward who pushes back the line of defense and creates space underneath for, for your for teammates and improves the location of their shot because of it. And just because Boucher rushed the net right here, you open up a, a lane for his teammate. I think that's a defenseman or at least it's a trailing teammate to really get a shot from inside the dots. So th there's other values to rushing the net. Even if you don't get the puck, you create space. And it's same thing for uh, and then and what happened before when he was the, the power play bumper. If you do your job well, the, the defense is going to respect you and uh, you're going to attract one or even two defenders. And it's going to open up space for teammates. So you can see the value of a player like Boucher too, even away from the puck. So this is another shift. Boucher is probably going to come in from the bench. It gets that puck, loses it, steals it back and that was a nice angle. So let's rewatch this. So you can see that Boucher has handling skills, but his touch is not as precise as some of the top prospects in the draft. So he's really looking at that puck a lot and it springs off his stick a bit too much. Then he falls down trying to cut back, but he still finds a teammate. And we also have to realize that Boucher is not playing at 100 persons in, in Intel's game. Or at least it's probable, it's probable that, that he's not uh, because he missed large parts of the season due to injuries. So it's probable that his technique is a bit off. Boucher is again on the left wing here, but just for the face off probably. He gets a shot on net, right off of it. And then goes net front. So let's rewatch this. His shot. And then even net front, he's pretty good at finding space, right? So his teammate Wilmer is coming in from the top of the zone. He's finding that that's fine. So he's not right in front of the goalie. Uh, he could be screening right here, but he prefers to find a bit of space, uh, get inside the passing lane so that he can take that puck, roll around and try and place it 5 hole or something like this. So there's some off puck abilities again right here. Oh, that was really nice. One more time. So he stays low, again inside space, he supports the play, gets that puck. And again, he's really scanning for where pressure is coming from. He sees that defenseman is attacking his right shoulder right here. He sees the stick of the, the, stick of the defenseman. And as soon as that defenseman arrives, he rolls off of him and then gets his head up and finds a passing lane net front. Really nice play and a lot of projectable skills right here. Finding space away from the puck, supporting the play, uh, puck protection abilities, turning his back to the defenseman, and knowing the right timing to make your move away from that defenseman. Also scanning to find a teammate in that front. Boucher is on the right here, he's still number 13. This puck gets dumped in. And now I'm not sure who's F1 between him and number 11. I think it's probably number 11. So there's, there are two USA forwards on that defenseman on the previous play. So Boucher really likes to hit, but he has to 
pick and choose the moments he, he makes those hits because if he overextends and try tries to land that hit sometimes he can just take himself out of the play and if there's two four checkers on, on the same opposing defenseman it can create uh, an easy admin rush for, for the other team which is a rim or a short pass so he has to be careful when he chooses to hit and this is a board paddle so he moves high he's not uh, below the goal line or anything so he safeguards his team from those easy odd man rushes good decision from him and now that's a great hit so let's rewatch this this is really perfect technique so he approaches in a low position goes through, through the hands of the opponent and really goes from a low position to a high one so um, he really le leverages his weight and stops the opponent dead in those tracks and he really separates the opponent from the puck too and he makes another great play right, at, right after so th there's a turnover partly because of him due to his hit the other opposing forward didn't have much time on the board to play that puck it was a bouncing one and now it gets a lot of space to fire a shot on that so his teammate steals that puck Boucher attacks space he controls his skating his stick is in a ready position to fire and it's a catch and release so a great scoring chance created partly by his hit and now he's on the back check this turns into no it's not a breakout it's again a defensive sequence and now his team attacks let's rewatch this so he's ahead of the play pushes back the line of defense he creates space for his other teammates to rush in and now what he's going to try to do is the same thing as before firing a passing lane inside space <laughs> The pass wasn't the best, but it was still a potentially good scoring chance just because of off puck abilities, its timing, his ability to read lanes. And now he goes net front for a point shot. He's still net front trying to create a pocket of space in which to receive the puck. So let's rewatch this one more time because we missed something on the wall. <laughs> Again, this is what we do we rewind a lot. So this is a, ret a retrieval, he scans for options, he has a defenseman at the top of the zone, but he doesn't want to use it, that option. So he turns back, uh, this was a nice spin on the, the opposing defender, and now he goes net front. And we talked a bit about this the last time he played the bumper position on the power play. But you can see his net front skills, even when he doesn't get the puck, like look at his position he has his rear end <laughs> to the opposing defenseman so it creates space just a pocket for him to handle the puck if he gets it or just to deflect this far post so this is another defensive zone face off Boucher is the F F3 right now so the highest forward he makes another hit And then pressures that re entry and moves to the wall because he's a strong side winger. Again, his position is on the board and he supports that rush. Again, Ooh. his handling skills are pretty good, but he doesn't have soft touch. So. He just bubbles at that, at that puck on the reception and prevents him from making a play on the entry. So he has to dump this in and he gets it. This is another shift. Boucher is probably going to come in from the bench. He loses that puck but gets it back. Give and go and a really great scoring chance. So let's rewatch this. So he enters his own, he has two defensemen in front of him and his teammate is in much more space than he has. So he gives, he gives him that puck but 
he he puts himself in a shooting position because he knows that his teammate is probably going to get, give this back to him. And this give and go really improved the, the location of his shot for him. So this passing play was a great way to just solve the defense, to push them back and create even more space for himself to fire this. I really like the way he sometimes plans offense offensive zone sequence. He's better away from the puck than with it, uh, I feel. Like he, he reads space better when he doesn't have it on his stick, uh, but he can still create plays like this one. Another shift, another hit. <laughs> That's pretty much what happens when you watch Tara Boucher game. So again, let's look at his technique. <laughs> he really forces that opposing forward to rush his play. Again, he's very low, um, he can le leverage his weight in the head and he attacks to the hands. So his goal is not only to <laughs> demolish the position, but really to separate them from the puck. He places his body in between the opponent and the puck, again, separates them. It, it doesn't, doesn't create uh, a turnover because there's another teammate right there for the, for the opposition, but it's still a really good technique. So he, he hits with he hits hard but with purpose too. And you like to see that. This is a defensive zone sequence. Boucher is in the middle of the ice, right at the dot right here. He just tried to stay inside space to provide a passing option to his teammates on the wall. So I really like this from him. I didn't manage to exactly catch it with my freeze frame, but you can see that he's looking at his pressure. He knows this puck is coming to him, that it's going to get rim on the wall. So he identifies where pressure is going to come from again and, and tries to find a solution to bypass it. You can see it right here. So he scans for the defenseman pinching. He probably would have been best to it probably would have been best for him to just get his body on the wall instead of trying the, this chip past the defenseman because there's no one to catch it on on the other side and if he had protected that, that puck he could could have made a, a direct play to his f1 or sender center in the middle of the ice it doesn't really matter he still manages it took a bit of, of luck but it remained a good play from him and i really like the, the awareness so he, he scans for defenseman and tries to solve the play with all the information instead of going in blindly this is a power play. Behrens takes that puck behind the net. And the US program accelerates. This is Boucher who has the puck. Shows a bit better handling skills. And you always have to evaluate handling inside movements too. It's much easier to handle when you, but both of your feet are in a glide. So it makes crossovers right here. Protects that puck as he goes around. We gave him a, an NHL average grade for his handling, and I think it's pretty fair. The US team is on the penalty kill right here. Boucher is pressuring this breakout attempt. He's in the middle of the ice. The opposing team, team still gains the zone with the dump in. And now he's in front of the net. So it, his team really collapses on the boards to win this puck back. It turns into a breakout, so his role is now to provide a passing option. Kind of mishandled that. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, let's rewatch this. So th there are good and bad moments in Boucher's handling. So he's trying to scan for defensive pressure at the same time as he catches that puck. He kind of mis mishandles it, but he repairs that move with an excellent one to go around the defender and then <laughs> misfires. So his, his feel for the puck is not as good as some other top prospects in this draft, but he still has some moves. This is why we gave him an average grade. So he has good moments and bad moments in, in possession. Boucher in general, like I said before, is better away from the puck, but he can still create some plays and it's probable that his game at the, at the professional level is going to 
uh, these short passes and a lot of off puck movements. So finding space, going to the net, uh, protecting it, uh, protecting the puck along the boards, creating uh, space for teammates along the boards, winning battles. So it really has a pretty much a defined role already. So this game showed three primary strengths for Tarla Boucher. His physicality, his ability to hit, protect the puck and engage on opponents, his off puck instincts, the way he could find space and passing lanes away from the puck to create scoring chances, and his motor and energy. There were also some weaknesses, his overall average skills, and his lack of more advanced offensive abilities like manipulation and deception. Overall, we project him more as a third line winger or bottom six winger, but one with upward mobility. So that means that he has a necessary skating base and healing base and offensive instinct to add more skills in the next few years and become a top six player. Or it could also become a complement to those more skilled players in the top six role. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want more videos like this.